In 2006, for the 20th anniversary of the Silver Eagle program, the United States Mint introduced a special new finish called Satin Finish or Burnished. And year by year, it's been the rarest Silver Eagle made to date. Every year, it wins the mintage figure race. But a few years ago, something else special happened. The United States Mint paired with a certain number, a very small number of dealers across the country, and they allocated 10% of the mintage to these dealers prior to the on sale date to the public. They're called advanced release. Well, we had our allocation, we're one of those dealers. We had our allocation shipped to PCGS and we had them certified for 2023, the burnished silver eagles. Tonight we have them in advanced release 70. Where do you see this price? That price is $299.95. We're $100 less than our competition for the same exact coin. They're at $399.98, $399.95, two different co competitors for the new 2023 Burnished in 70, advanced release, but ours has that, ours has that special premier PCGS label. And now the, look right there, that mint mark, right above the eagle's tail. That's the West Point mint mark. Regular uncirculated silver eagles do not bear a mint mark. That's how you know, besides the special finish, it has a different appearance, but that's how you know for sure that it is a satin finisher burnished silver eagle. It's made a little different. It has a different type of surface. It's sandblasted. It's a mixture of glass beads, and that's what they do to the surface to give it that satiny look. You can see it right there. It looks like um, if you compare it to paint, a satin finish versus the gloss paint versus the matte. So this is the West Point. W mint mark on an uncirculated coin. That's what Steve Recipes is all the time, right, guys? You have a Silver Eagle with a mint mark. It's uncirculated, but it is burnished, and it is a perfect 70. Well, let's talk about advanced release. Now, uh, I referenced right when we started discussing this that the United States Mint paired with a small number of dealers a few years ago, and they created the advanced release program. They allocate 10% of the mintage of these coins and many other coins that they choose before the public on sale date. So we're able to purchase our allocation and have them shipped to PCGS. And if they arrive to PCGS before the on sale date, they will label them and designate them as advanced release. You can see it there on the label under the Burner Silver Eagle words, it says advanced release. So you have a small mintage figure, Satin always wins. It's early in the year. Uh, but so far, they've only made 120,632 burnished silver eagles. They've made 424,000 and change West Point proofs, and they've made over 8 million uncirculated coins so far this year in 2023. So it is the rarest of the year so far. But even looking back at last year, 2022, 160,000 satins, 200,000 proofs, 20 million uncirculated coins. So again, it's, it is destined to most likely be the rarest issue of this year as well, of the three, the West Point burnished. Again, that's just part of the story. Low mintage figures, just part of the story. The other part is that advanced release. Just 10% of the entire mintage is allocated to a small number of dealers, and we were very lucky to be part of that program, the advanced release program. We had our coins shipped to PCGS, and they had them graded and certified. Let's talk about certified numbers. That's the population reports, the, the census. For 2022, PCGS certified 12,321 burnished in 70. That is the total population. These, the advanced release, we're looking at minuscule populations of these so far. It is early to tell. We have the numbers coming in. Guys, I gotta cut this, because I don't have the numbers. So I had to cut this whole thing. Sorry, it's not even 